I want to thank all of you for being here. And I, I will have to say, if you can't hear me, I'm going to speak as loud as I can. It is with absolute sincerity and gratitude for me to see such a outpouring of support from people that are through all facets of our community. It really is a reinforcement of why I love being the state representative for Fairfield and Trumbull. As I begin that, our entire premise during the entire campaign and all of our public service has been by a simple mission. And that mission is, more than anything else, it is a commitment to our community. When I talk about that, a commitment to community is reflected by all the people that we see out here. We see the Bridgeport YMCA, we see Operation Hope, we see the Kennedy Center, we see parents, we see retired teachers, we see people that reflect all essence of our community. And that is ultimately, more than anything else, why we serve our community. And as I say that, it is not all about the talk. It is about being there, it's about being supportive, and being sincere in your appreciation of all the little things that make our community so great. So if there's nothing else that I'm proud to stand on, it is the fact that we care about our community. We're out supporting breast cancer awareness, the Connecticut Challenge for Cancer Survivorship. These are things that make up our community. And those are the things that a state representative, more than anything else should do, is to represent the people in our community and letting those organizations know that they matter. They matter deeply to everything we have in our community. Now, as we get done with community, obviously we need to go up to Hartford. And one of the most challenging parts of Hartford is the fact that Hartford has lost touch with common sense. When I say that, we talk about the idea of overspending and increased taxation. We don't have a revenue problem in this state, we have a spending problem. I think if we took a more common sense approach to reflect the households that we represent, to know that we don't spend any more than we make, that we respect that the decisions and the process we undertake are sensitive to the people that we represent, I think we would be in a much, much better place. Now I respect that when we talk about controlling spending, that we also have a responsibility to ensure that there is a safety net for those people that are the most vulnerable and, and those that we have a responsibility to protect and enable. Now there's a big difference when you talk about controlling spending. There are going to be hard decisions that we need to make. And as a result of that, that is why I'm seeking re-election because we have so much more to do. We have so much more to protect what is so special about our communities, what is so special about our state. But we can't do it without people that are going up there and willing to make the hard decisions. We're gonna run a campaign that's full of substance. It's not about negatives, it's about our accomplishments and our track record of having done things for the community. Now, as I say that, you are a reinforcement of what we have done right. And as we have gone out in walking and meeting with people, the reinforcement and the positive feedback has been overwhelming. And that is furthermore the reason why we are on the right track. And I thank all of you for being out here tonight and enjoying the great pizza, but more than anything else, to reinforce in the community that being sensitive, being respectful, being considerate, it is the right political process to go. That we can win standing on the issues and the substance of representing our community. So with all that said, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank my family for allowing me to spend the time and making the commitment to do these kind of things for our community. But at the end of the day, I want to thank all the people that have supported us, that have voted for us, 
that believe we are doing the right things day in and day out. I think in honor of my father who had always said, character is defined by what you do when you don't, when nobody else is looking. That you are committed to the values and the, and the, and the decisions that you are basing your values on to be right and righteous and that you are going to make the hard decisions because those decisions are going to be a basis of hard work and the values that you bring to the table. But again, if there's nothing else that I go away from this is the fact that we are committed to building up our community. We want to make this state and this country the greatest it's ever been because it's far too important for all of us to make that happen. So I want to thank you all and I appreciate you all being here. Enjoy the food and have a great time. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.